All right, I hope this is working right now. Um, first of all, I'm very sorry about the sound quality, but um, I can't find my headphones right now that have a microphone, so I'm just gonna leave it at that um, and just try to show you what I need to show you um, with this sound quality. And I think it will be fine uh, when we get started. Anyway, so people were asking me about how I changed the color of the robe of this fine art picture. And I will show you the original image, which is this one. And as you can see, you know, the robe is a totally different color. Of course, there's a lot of color toning anyway. So I think after, um, I uploaded it. I have to break it down a little, see where I'm at. I did edit it first in uh, Lightroom for the color toning. I made it into, let me see, let me see, this, yeah. So that was my start image um, when I went into Photoshop. So I did already do some toning here and there. Um, I always start in Lightroom because I really like uh, some of the uh, presets that I've bought recently. Um, I have some of Fis uh, Fisco VSCO and Tribe Archipelago and I always try to put filters on it first to see if it can give me a certain feeling or depth to it um, and I really like the contrast in this preset. I don't know specifically which one I used but um, I always encourage people to find their own vibe in the presets and not so much like take right away what I do just because I think it's so much more interesting when you work out it yourself and really try really truly guys it is really true that the more you try the more you learn so instead of telling people every time what I'm using I mean I already told you a little bit what I'm using I have all the VSCO sets and a few tribe archipelago sets as you can see here um, but I always try to encourage please 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 don't just do what another person does just try to find out what works for you but I got inspired by this one went into Photoshop eventually came out on this image um, I did a lot of dodging and burning um, I did a lot of additional adding of um, shadows and uh, vignettes stuff like that but now I'm going to focus actually on the how I did the color so first of all I need to undo this layer I am NOT really a good um, how do you say organizer in Photoshop as you can see Photoshop really for me is like drawing so I do first try to do the basics like um, you know, retouching on the skin, and then I go into dodging and burning and stuff, and then it gets all messy. Because <laughs> I am a messy person. But um, eventually, you know, I had to, I, I decided to make it square in the end, and then I had to add, you know, the background drop, drop because I was missing that one. So that's why that filter is in. So ignore the white borders here. I hope you can look by that. Um, and then we have the color which was this. You can see there's a flower here that I made blue just to kind of communicate with the blue in here. Um, but I'm going to show you what I did. So first of all, um, this is the Dutch version of Photoshop. So I think this is mm, color toning and well, let me see. Harp. This. It's this, you guys. <laughs> Find it in Photoshop. I don't know the English name right now. I might put it in the comments um, below. But um, yeah, so this is what it is. Right now you can see that it seems like nothing... Um, oh wait, I'm in the wrong one. Like here, it seems like nothing has happened. But if I press a little handy here, and I press on the color, you see what I actually did. So... I'm gonna do it from scratch for you guys. So I'm gonna switch that one off, go back, make a new layer. First of all, um, I try and use my comment eye, which makes the um, mask uh, black, uh, so that you you actually don't see any color changes right now. Um, but I'm going to work out the 
and I'm hoping that my computer won't get super slow while I'm editing. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really not that. I have my... By the way, I'm working with a Wacom, wa wait, Wacom? <laughs> Wacom tablet, and I always forget to put it back into the right instantly. Um Dutch here. I'm sorry. It's late at night. Please, please forgive me. Anyway, we go in with white, and I'm going in harsh. I'm like a harsh person. I'm just wanting to paint this on. Um, so I'm gonna go and do this real quick. You can see in the mask layer what I'm doing. Honestly, it's smarter to first uh, change the colors, but right now I'm just doing it like this. So you can see there's a little blob here. I'm going into my colors. I wanna have the colors of the robe. All right, put it in and it's saying it's red, the red tints it's taking right now. And then I'm gonna just see what it does. Ooh, green was kind of nice too. You will see that the hands are also going to be a little bit colored and stuff. Ignore that for now. I'm going to repaint that. So, first of all, the top layer, evidently, it shows you. It, it just gets all the coloring. So it gets all the coloring. This one, you know, it makes it less colorful. And then you have this one, which I sometimes use when I feel like I really want to get the shadows more up front and I somehow I feel like this one is doing that for me sometimes it makes it more dramatic um, picks up the highlights also a little bit so but you know I do it a lot with dodging and burning as well so I can't say that's definitely doing it for me but it helps sometimes so honestly I just play around with this stuff a lot <laughs> like I really like try to find the colors that really do it for me um, not overthink it too much, just play with it. You know, I did a few different color styles for this uh, particular one before I came to the conclusion that I wanted to use blue. These were the other colors next to the blue that I used. I made one with, well, the natural quote-unquote color that I already used and made it more vibrant. And I did this yellow one, which I really, really love. Honestly, this is my favorite color, but for the um, image, you know, what I was trying to convey, I felt like I needed to do something more subtle because I felt like with the yellow, uh, it really, the yellow really captivated me first before I saw the woman and I really want the woman to take the image. So that's why I came out with blue. Anyway, you can see what I did. It's super easy. Um, so a few notes. If you feel like the color is not picking up, like for example, I'm using this blue right now and you can see up here, here, um, it's getting kind of pur purplish, more lighter than the rest. So if I feel like it's not picking up all the colors, I try and make the range more broad. And then it, evidently, um, I'm doing it too much right now. But it will take uh, up, uh, up some of the colors that are in there that, um, yeah that need to be taken as well. And then I can still play around. You see that the color changes because it takes more range and it makes it more uh, prominent. So then I need to kind of look around again, see what I want, make it more colorful, play around. So honestly, there's not a good or bad here. You just do what works for you and you just find the color that you like the most. And that's about it. So when I done that, for example, I don't really like the Purple and the blue is too much for me. Mm, let me see. I did kind of like the green. I haven't tried that one. I would make it more natural looking. Mm, still want to have that pop of color. That's really green. I'm very particular about colors. So honestly, I probably have to choose something that's not too perfect for me right now. Because else we're going to be here all night. I guess... I guess I'll just go... Like, there was something here that I kind of liked as well. But then it needs to be more bright. Oh, we're going to the yellow again. Okay, whatever. We're doing yellow. Yellow, green. Mm. Mm. Sure, just do yellow. Whatever. You can see how the hands and stuff are um, getting yellow as well. It's because I didn't paint it out right in the mask. So what I'll do is just go in with my brush and paint over with black on the mask. Oh, wrong. Sorry, with white, of course. Or black. No, but black. I'm sorry. It is late. I really hope I don't look like a 
we are good. So there's a few um, ways you can do this. Of course, you can also um, use your uh, magic wand to kind of select out the right parts that you want. But honestly, I kind of I like the, the the painting in Photoshop a lot. So I just I just do this, and if I feel like I'm hitting you know a wrong little spot, sometimes I'm gonna be a little bit rough first, and then you know paint back in a little bit right here. So I just take my time to do this. I like to do this. So, but that's just me. If you're less um, patient with this kind of stuff, you'll probably have to use like a magic tool. But I'm not gonna do all of it right now. Uh, I think my point is clear. So I hope that you enjoyed it, and yeah, that you will eventually come up with your own color plan. A few tips um, when you do shoot colors. It is advisable maybe to use a flash on this kind of stuff. I do have to say, um, if the color is um, uh, photographed with equal light, it's more easier to get the color where you want it to because it's more equally uh, in range uh, with light and color. Um, when you use a lot of shadow, uh, for example, it will pick up the shadow harder. I remember when I, I began with this image, I didn't see it right now, but this back here that had more shadow had a little bit harder time picking up the color changes but then again you know you can go back in and um, just um, uh, pick the range a little bit more broad you know you can just pick it out and make it broader but I think my point is clear so I hope that this will help you to um, play around with color in your own Photoshop all right thank you